So I picked up a couple of these uh, the quad port network cards. They're Intel Intel Pro 1000 VTs. Uh, X4 PCIe, this is how they came. eBay Classic. So I'm going to stick them in this uh, Dell R710 and I'll go about showing you how uh, I would test these cards and network cables. So here's a cable plugged in between two ports. The lights show it's active. Jumping into a terminal, running IP address show, we can get the adapter info. But I have 16 plus loopback, so try IP dash BR link show for a tidier screen. The dash BR means brief. You can see there are three in the upstate. One is my LAN, the other two are the cable. We'll come back to the cable in a minute. Running LSPCI, we can see all the devices and how they are attached. You can see from the numbering there are actually a number of dual port cards as they share PCIe device numbers. Broadcom are the four onboard NICs. Then the 82576 are the quad port cards I've just installed. Note the three port PCIe switch. You can also see here 0C00 which is 12. This is a multi-purpose interface that's both dual 10 gig ethernet and also fiber channel over ethernet. And below that is the 82599, which is a dual port 10 gigabit copper card, which has the PCIe ID of 0D00 or PCIe number, which is 13. We can do an LS topo to see how things are connected also. At the top there are the two CPUs. Next, you can see the four onboard network separated into two devices, then array controller. Next is PCIe 6 and 7 is the one of the quad port cards. You can see by the indents and number of PCIe bridges that it contains a PCIe switch. And below that is the other quad port card in 0A and 0B or 10 and 11. Then the multi-purpose card in 0C or 12 and then in 0D or 13 is the other dual port 10 gig card. So from here, how do we test these cards? So I've written a bash script that you give the two interface names and then it uses iPerf and Linux network namespaces to conduct a speed test for the purpose or of load testing the cards or the cable. It might look a bit complex, but the bandwidth showing 941-2-3 is about the maximum you can achieve for a 1 gigabit port with the default frame size. This means the cable and ports are working as expected. Note that my script does a load test in each direction and not simultaneously. Looking into my script, you can see how it works. It takes the two interface names and then creates a namespace for the client and server side, assigns the network device to each of them, then creates a small static IP network uh, and it sets the devices to be up. And then it starts iPerf server and client in the two namespaces to conduct the test for a default of 10 seconds. When it's done, it kills all the iPerf and then it does the same in the opposite direction with the client and server reversed. Lastly, it kills all the iPerf instances. So that's it. I just then test every port against a known good port, and if I get above 940, I know it's a good port and good cable combo. You can also use this method to measure bandwidth through a switch. Thanks for watching. Hope this has been helpful.